everyone, this is Kiri with another process video for Bramble Fox. And for this layer, I'm using the fabulous June Fox Box along with the Paper Snips number 27 and Fox Cup number 67, the butterflies. They both come with the Fox Box Plus subscription in June. And I've also used Paper Snips number 28 and Fox Cup number 14. Um, in the hearts. Okay, so um, what am I doing here? I have got a piece of white card. I've just trimmed off the manufacturing strip and I've pulled out, I have a couple of the Pink Fresh Studio delightful papers that I had left over. And I was just looking for some papers that would go with these really pretty um, flor uh, florals in the paper snips because I decided I was going to cut all of these out and use these as a feature on my layout. So um, I've just started here with some of the fussy cutting now. I don't know about you. I, I love a bit of fussy cutting, though I know a lot of people don't. Um, but I find it very therapeutic. And I have to admit, I did this one and then I had to go off and, and sort out dinner and what have you. And then after that, I sat down in front of the TV and I cut the rest of them all out. And there we go. They are all done. So all ready for me to start um, scrapping. So firstly, I have remembered to actually stencil before I start sticking down. And I've pulled out the um, heart stencil. It's Fox Cut number 14. It's a bit of a favourite of mine. And um, I'm using the smaller hearts. It's got two sides to it and I'm using the smaller ones. Um, and I've pulled out Distress Oxide in Saltwater Tap. It's quite a soft sort of peachy pink um, and I'm using the fabulous little inking brushes um, from Bramble Fox and they are great when you just want to use small elements on a stencil which is obviously what I'm doing here. I'm sort of picking out which of uh, which hearts I want to um, stencil because I don't want to go with every you know everything can cover it completely. I just I'm sort of picking out a small portion. So those little inking brushes, little blending brushes are fabulous. Um, so I, I'll get this done and then I've got my strip of um, pattern paper and I've, I cut a piece from that, um, the larger paper, and I've sort of stuck to the sort of pinks, peach, and there's a little bit of the sort of mauve tones in those stripes. So I've stuck to that because that very much echoes the colours in the fussy cut flowers that I have. So I have a photo of me and my husband. Um, we have just been to Bruges for a long weekend. It was to celebrate our anniversary. It was sort of a week or so later. Um, but we went to Bruges. It was so beautiful. I don't know if you've been, but it's certainly worth a weekend. Um, it was so easy just getting the Eurostar to Brussels and then changing over to um, a train, an hour train to Bruges. And Bruges is such a pretty city. It has canals and it's just so easy to get around it's you know you can just walk everywhere there's no need to you know you don't need to get trains or anything like that to get from one side to the other it's it's really really beautiful so um and and just delightful really just wandering around through the streets around the canals we went and saw the, there were some windmills um and we yeah we did all sorts of things actually so um yeah definitely well worth a visit we had a lovely time um and the weather was generally pretty good for us actually uh, across the whole weekend um on our way back we we um stopped in brussels actually to get our connecting train and we had a bit of time so we did a couple of things there actually though the weather wasn't so great there it was a bit rainy and really gray and overcast but we still managed to go and see the grand class and and the comic mag uh, museum you know comics so that was really interesting and then of course the famous um mannequin piece which is the little boy fountain and he's really tiny um for any of you who've been there actually you have this sort of idea that a fountain's going to be quite large well he certainly isn't he's miniature anyway um we had a fabulous time so where have I got to? Okay, so I've got all my fussy cut flowers and I'm sort of just tucking them in under the edges of um, the pattern paper strip. And then I'm pulling out some more of the um, those phrase perspectives actually that come. They're something different and I love them. They're in black and they're etched and they've got different phrases on them. So I've got this is the life, beautiful day with a little heart at the end of it. And today was fantastic. So I'm, and then I'm just sort of using, adding those in a um, vertical design along with some of the paper snips. So I've cut some of those out and I have 
um, a number of different ones, details, beautiful day. We will always have today amazing, cherished these moments. So, and then I've just sort of got those in position. Right, I think I've got everything stuck down on the side. So all the florals are stuck and I'm now going to get my title stuck down and it's this lovely raspberry colour from the June Fox box, Better Together. And it was obviously perfect for the photo of me and my husband. And then there's this cute little heart with um, us in the centre of it. So I've just tucked that into the top left. Um, I've got my photo here and I'm just going to get that mounted onto a... Uh, leftover piece of the Pink Fresh Studio Delightful collection just in the sort of soft colours just so it lifts it against the background because the background is quite white so it just gives it a bit of an edge. Um, of course I'm going to distress the edges and then I can get that stuck down. I'll add a little bit of um, foam tape to the top and then I'll stick it flat at the bottom and then I can go back in and start to get the um, all the phrases, words, etc., stuck down. I'm just making sure. Oh, I have a new T square ruler after I broke my last one. Um, and I, I bought a pack of two, so I've got one on standby just in case. Um, okay, so making sure that's perfectly straight. Now I've pulled out this new fox cut. This is number 67, Butterflies one. And this comes with the Foxbox Plus subscription. Um, you can find all the details on subscribing to the Foxbox or the Foxbox Plus on um, bramblefox.co.uk. And I've Fussy cut a couple of butterflies from the paper snips and I'm just adding these very cute little butterfly trails to each of them. However, probably I should have done it really before I stuck down my title over there because I really had to sort of press it down to get it in next to it. So yeah, a little bit of a fail there. I should have done it before, before I got that stuck down. Anyway, the one over here on the left, I'm just adding and I'm using the same Distress Oxide in Saltwater Taffy. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm sort of, yeah, they're really cute actually, those little butterfly trails. So just add a little bit of extra detail there to the two butterflies. I've fussy cut from those paper snips. Um, okay, then I can get the um, all the phrases and words stuck down. Um, again, with the perspectives, I am using glossy accents. Gives it a nice, strong um, hold. Of course, making sure it's straight and possibly have a wonky, wonky um, perspective there. And then just playing around with where these are all going to sit. Um, and I think I'm, I'm going to get these stuck down and, and move this on because it takes me a little while because obviously, as per normal, I'll fiddle around a little bit. I raised some of them on foam pads, pads which I'm doing here. Um, this one at the bottom um, that says amazing and then another one at the top. I've also added that little perspective, the little banner with the heart on it in the bottom. It's in a very soft, pale Oh, I don't know, it's sort of soft, pale, really pale pink. Um, decided to add a little bit more stenciling over here, just near the butterfly on the right. Um, and then I bought these cute little bees. Oh, that's right. I did also use this set. So these are Bees version 2 perspective set. They're available in the shop now. And I just wanted to add a little bit more black into the layer because I've got the black words and I thought I just needed something else. So I had these two little um, bees that I had left over. So I'm just popping those um, down on either side, fiddling around a little bit, deciding on the left where that one's going to go. As you can see, I keep moving it around. I finally decide where it goes. Um, so, and then I'm I'm sort of getting close to being done. Ah, I've pulled out these Pink Fresh Studio jewels and I've got this really pretty pale pink. And I'm just going to get add a little bit of sparkle because who doesn't love a bit, a bit of glimmer on um, their layout in and around um, the, flor uh, the floral elements. So just up and down the vertical design. So I'll get those stuck down and then I'm pretty much done. Here is the final layout. I did add some journaling as well, just under my title. Here you'll see some close-ups of the um, fabulous perspectives, the paper snips and that um stenciling there from the two fox cuts i hope you've enjoyed watching this process video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye for now